For if you know not which way I'm going to come, they knew that when we were having a test, that's what I would tell them, okay? So they knew that. All right. Last night, we talked about how Jesus has given us authority and all of the power over the enemy. Amen. I'm going to review a little bit. And that as believers, we are uh, expected to exercise that authority. Amen. We're expected to use that authority. We're expected to release that authority. Amen. Amen. So, we define the word authority, and we said that it is defined as the right to govern, to control, or demand. We also said that it is delegated power from one at a higher level. And we know Jesus being the head, amen? We know that he had, he was talking there in Luke 10, 19 to uh, the 70 disciples that he had after he was resurrected, res <coughs> excuse me, resurrected, but then he was also talking to us, amen? It still applies to us. All right, we, we learned three things about a boy. All right, we in class, remember I told you, we in class here, amen? So class, what is the first thing that we learned about authority that it doesn't do? Number one, it doesn't what? Big. Number two, it doesn't act. Number three, what does it do? It commands. Amen. It doesn't beg. We said we're not going to be begging the devil. We're not going to ask the devil. We're going to command. Amen. We're going to command him to get away, get up out of our house, get, a, get out of our children. Amen. Okay, we all right. I can go. Y'all can hear me? Yes. Glory, glory. Yes, uh, they said they can hear me, though. Right. But if you want me to go on with you. Oh, no, no. Amen. Okay. All right. Can I put this down? Yes. I, you know, I told y'all last night I'm a little loud. <laughs> sit down in my spirit. Yeah. I'm telling you that we, and listen, I know we know this. We say we might know it in our head, but do we really believe it? Mm -hmm. That we have been given all power, all yes, of the power. Yes, what does all mean? All. It means all. We have been given authority and all of the power yeah. over the enemy. My God. That, ought to, that right there ought to make us just sit up straight in our seat and say, I got you, devil. <laughs> Amen. I got you. You go no further in my life. You got a child that's cutting up, rebellious. You get out and you pray and you're on that floor and you roll and do whatever you got to do. And you tell that devil, you go no further here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I command you to loose them. And let him go. Amen. 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 You ain't got to beg him. No. Amen. Why are you going to beg somebody that you already have authority Amen. over? Amen. 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 You got to know who you are Amen. and whose you are. Amen. You got to know who you belong to. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God forevermore. I didn't mean to go all through that, but I did. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> um, the, tonight I want to talk to you from this talk, topic. And I touched on it just a little bit last night. But the title of the message tonight is Authority is Exercised Through the Spoken Word. Authority is Exercised Through the Spoken Word. Amen. Now I want to say this up front. I'm going to be using a lot of scriptures tonight. And I'm not going to ask you to turn to all of them. But I do ask that or suggest that you would jot them down. Mm -hmm. That you would go back and look at them for yourself and let the Lord speak to you about them. Okay? All right. But we're going to be setting the stage in, by looking at two very familiar passages of Scripture. I know you got the sword. So turn with me to the book of Proverbs first. Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs chapter 18. 
Proverbs 18, verse 21. Now, I said it's very familiar. I know you know it. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you there? Amen. Amen. Praise God. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Amen? Amen. All right, we're going we're to talk about that in a few minutes. And then look over, go over to the book of Mark, chapter 11, another very familiar passage of Scripture. Mark 11, 23. Say, I got it, when you have it. You got it? Amen. I'm reading this passage from the New King James Version, and it says, for assuredly I say unto you, whoever says to this mountain, my, 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 be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done. He will what? Have. Talk to me. Talk to me. He will what? Have. Whatever he says. Amen. Now I want to say this right up front. Just like you can doubt, I believe in your heart, you can doubt in your heart. Okay? We can doubt in you. I just wanted to point that out. Now, I'm going to move right on and try to move on hurriedly. If you'll do a study in the uh, King James Version of a word count of words that connected to the spoken word, this is what you're going to find. You'll find that the word speak, S-P-E-A-K, occurs 623 times in the Bible. The words spoke or spoken appears 282 times. The word word itself is there 1,179 times. Did y'all get those numbers? Yes, ma'am. The word speak occurs how many times? Class? 623. All right, what about the word spoke of spoken? 282. 282 times. And then the word word. Wow. So generally speaking, any time a word is repeated many times, it indicates that, that, that uh, there is something important that the Lord wants to get across to us, right? Is that right? So we can conclude that because of how many times the use of those words appear, that the very act of speaking is a very important thing. You gotta watch what comes out of your mouth. Amen. Because you're gonna be speaking, and I'm getting ahead of myself, blessings of curses upon your life. Amen. You got you are the prophet of your own life. The reason why we're in certain places in our lives today is because of stuff that we have spoken out of our mouth. Amen. In the past. Amen. You wanna know why you are where you are today? Think about some of the things that you have spoken out of your mouth. I told you on last night, I thought it was cute when I said, I'll never be, no, no, that's not what I said. I said, I'm so broke that I can't pay attention. Amen. Mm -hmm. I promise you, Amen. I've been there. I have been so broke that I couldn't pay attention. I didn't know what to do. You understand? And it was because of what had come out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I said it more than one time, mm -hmm. thinking it was cute, but it wasn't. I said it then, but I did not have the understanding and the revelation of what I have not, of what I was doing to myself. Mm -hmm. So what else did I tell you last night? I said, I don't say that anymore. My confession now is I'll never be broke another day in my life. Amen. 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 Listen, you can have what you say and believe. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
So you want to make sure you walk, uh, uh, taking time or you're thinking about what's coming out of your mouth. And stop speaking this negative stuff over your children. Yeah. Telling these kids that they ain't going to never be nothing. You're just like your old daddy. Yeah. You, done, you, you, you got mad with the daddy or the mama or whatever, and you want to speak. Why you want to speak that stuff over those kids? You ought to be telling and calling them a mighty man of God, a mighty woman of God. Amen. Speak the word over them. There's another confession that I have that comes out of my mouth now. Because I'm about to be 17 years old in September. And since that time, I'll tell you since the time that I turned 65 years old, the enemy started, you won't die. You won't die. You should decide, this person died at this age, this person died at that age. You, and, and, and I had to come back to him and say, you a liar? Yes. Yes. I'm going to live yes. and not die. Yes. And the clarity yes. of the Lord. Yes. With long life, will he satisfy me yes. and show me his salvation. Amen? Yes. He's a liar. Yes. Amen? I'm not receiving. Who is he? He's not the greater one. The greater one is on the inside of me. Amen. So you got to cast that mess down when he comes speaking, speaking all kinds of negative kind of things in your life. Don't receive it from him. I'll tell him in a minute, you're a liar. Because that's who he is. The word says he's the father of lies. Amen. So I'm not going to be listening to what he's trying to tell me. And not only that, now I'm getting away from this message. I'm just going to let the Lord use me so let him God. say what he wants to say. Amen. I got some stuff written down on this paper. But I told him I want him to be glorified. Amen. I want him to be magnified. Amen. I told him, say what you want to say. Right. Amen. Up in this place tonight. I want you to get glory for yourself, God. It ain't about me. Amen. It's all about him. Amen. Amen. So I, the, uh, the, uh, the word also says that uh, we, the, we, are, we overcome mm -hmm. by the blood of the Lamb yes. and by the word of our testimony. Yes. What's your testimony today? Yes. What are you saying today Amen. that you can lift somebody up? Amen. You can reach the side and pick your brother and your sister up and say, it don't have to be there. Let me tell you what the word of God says about that thing. Amen. Amen. They, they want to talk to you about, and like we talked about last night, healing. Ah, well, they, they said this about me and they said, I'm going to So what does the word say? Amen. Amen. I said, I'm receive that. So that's, that's their report. But there's another report. Amen. And that's a report of the Lord that says, he, again, he was wounded. They oh up for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Y'all been saying that. And by his strength, or with his strength, I am here. I'm not waiting to be
is the children's bread. Mm, that's right. Amen. Y'all walking around here, and I I'm nobody in here. Um, somebody out there. <laughs> walking around in here listening to that little liar. Amen. That slew footed. I can't stand him. Uh -huh. All right. Amen. I hate him. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Even now, he kind of better not say that. What you mean I better not say that? Amen. I'm talking about the enemy. I have all of the authority Amen. over you. Amen. Amen. So when are we going to come to that place? That we're going to speak the word Amen. over ourselves. We're going to speak the word over our finances. Mm. Amen. The word says that if we give, and I know it's not only talking about finances, but we can use it for finances. Amen. Yeah. If we give, it shall be given unto us. Amen. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, making room for both, and running over yeah. shall men give unto our business. Amen. Yeah. But with the same measure that we measure it up, it's going to be measured back. It's coming back to us. Amen. Amen. Another confession of mine is that I lack no good or benefit. Beneficial thing. Amen? I also say uh, that God is able to make all grace abound toward me. That I always have an all sufficiency in all things. You hear me? May abound to every good work. You got to put the word of God in your mouth. Amen. And you got to use it. Amen. And I, God is obligated. Did I say obligated? Yes. He's yes. obligated to perform his word. Yes. He said, put me in remembrance of it. Yes. And I do. Amen. I'm not going to be walking around here with my head. Now, y'all see this gray hair up in here. I see my brother over there, too. You're looking good, brother. I know he ain't old as me. <laughs> but he over there, that, that's wisdom. That's wisdom. Okay. All right. That's in my, in my head, but guess what? I'm in good health. I want you to know, again, in September I'll be 70. I only take one pill. I'm boasting in the Lord, I want you to know that. Not boasting in myself. I take one pill, and that's a high blood pressure pill. But guess what? If I lose some more weight, amen. I can get off of that. And guess what? I'm working on that every day. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be around here and I'm not going to be taking nothing. Amen. Amen. There's no good anyway. It's part. Amen. Going in our bodies. Y'all better hear what I'm saying to you. We got the word. Take the word of God. You can take the medicine. I'm not telling you not to if you're on medication. I'm not telling you. But take, it with, take the word along with it. That's right. That's right. Amen. You ought to be every time you get ready to put that pill in your mouth or whatever, you ought to be saying that he sent his word mm. and healed me. Yeah. Yeah. By his stripes, I'm healed. Yeah. Amen. Uh, our pastor can testify to this. Our mother was another evangelist prophet. Yes. They put her in hospice three times. Mm. And every time, those three times, they would have to say, Miss, uh, Miss Henderson, we're going to have to go, because we got to go find somebody that's sick. Because what she would be doing to them every time, preaching to them, while they were there, she was in hospice. Three times she was there, and in and out. The doctor told her one time, about 10 years before she died, told her, uh, Miss Henderson, we've done everything for you. She said, you say you did everything for me? He said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, let me get up and go home then. She was in the hospital. She said, because I know a man. Amen. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. You know what I mean? You said, you did everything. I know a man. So let me get up. Well, he said, well, Miss Henderson, you're going to die. She said, you are too. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all can kind of see where I got a little bit of that fire going on. <laughs> she told me, you are too. And when she died, she gave it up when she uh, transitioned. She was not in hospice, okay? Amen. She was not in hospice. Amen. But that was 10 years. She lasted 10 years. 
after they told her. And every time somebody would ask her, Mama could be, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I, I know it's to help somebody. Mama would be so sick, you could hardly, I'm talking about physically, you know, you could hardly hear her speak. You say, Mama, how are you doing today? You know what I'm saying? Never would she let anything else come out of her mouth. She used to, I don't care how sick she was, she never let anything else come out of her mouth. And uh, when she did pass, there was a lady in our church said when she heard it, she said, I, I don't believe it. I'm, I'm going to have to go check this out for myself. She said, because I, I just don't know the sentence. I don't know where it was because of her testimony. So I'm saying all of this to say, y'all, and I ain't saying nothing else on this paper that I got here. I'm letting the Lord speak tonight. I'm saying this to you. If you got folks in your family sick, if you are sick, whatever, don't be receiving those reports. I don't care what they look like. I don't care the condition of what God is able to do exceedingly. We already know. Abundantly above anything that we can act or think. As a matter of fact, we already know that he has already done. Amen? So that's what we ought to be doing. We ought to be speaking what the word of God says over every situation. And there is a word for everything that we face in our lives. I, too, concur with prophecies. Get in this word. Eat it day and night. Meditate in it day and night. I promise you, he'll speak to you. Amen. There are some things that you might have read before and you didn't understand it or didn't even, and you go back and read it again and that light bulb pops on it. Amen. But you can't get that if you're not reading it, if you're not studying it, okay? If I tell you that I want to do it every day, I would be lying. But we have to take authority over that flesh, because the flesh don't want to do it. Amen. We have to take authority, and we have the right to take authority over our flesh. Until you shut up. Y'all need to learn how to tell your flesh to shut up. Because it's going to talk to you. No, you can you can read that later on tonight. And you get up in the bed, you got the Bible. You done did everything that you want to do. And you get up in the bed, you got the Bible. You gone. Am I telling the truth? Yes. Amen. David said, early. In the morning. Early. Somebody say early. 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 early in the morning will I rise up and seek you. Now I know some of y'all are not morning people, but you need to get over yourself and get that fresh man early in the morning. Amen? I'm telling you what I know. Get up, turn that bed loose. When I was teaching school, and I'm going to sit down in a minute that time. When I was teaching school, I had to be at school every morning for 7.30. I taught for 20 years. But I would get up every morning before my children would get up. Y'all ain't saying that. Amen. Amen. And I would get along with the Lord. Come on now. I would pray and I'd talk to him. And there was one day, I didn't have, we didn't have any food in the house. My husband was working on the police force. I was teaching school. You know how you can overload yourself and do stuff that you have no business. Didn't have any food in the house. And I told the Lord that morning, I said, Lord, I said, I need your help. I said, you know we don't have any food up in, in this house. And I said, Lord, I thank you for making a way out of no way. Went on to school that day, and every morning, too, before I would, my class would come in, I would walk around that classroom, and I'd pray over those desks. I took each one of those desks, and I would pray before the students came in. But anyway, at the end of that day, I got home, 
and a lady called me on the telephone. She said, I, I want you to come down to my house, to my house. I got something for you. And I'm like, okay, what, 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 what she got? What she got? I'm thinking, y'all, I went down to that lady's house. I made groceries in her house. Mm. This is what she had for me. Fool, I'm telling you the truth. God was God.
is what you call the glory of God. Come on, somebody, the presence of God. God loves you. 